Hi guys, welcome back. Dan here from Design Man, bringing you all things design. This week I'm going to show you how to model a World War II grenade in SolidWorks. Let's jump in and take a look. So starting on the front plane, and this sketch is uh, going to be the profile of the grenade, and it's setting up for a revolve feature. So I'm essentially drawing um, half of the profile and then we're going to revolve it about a central axis which is the um, vertical sketch about the origin. So just to mention it up and then we'll fully define the sketch and we're good to go with the feature. So there we go. Coming on the front plane and um, this was actually a workaround so uh, we've previously done a tutorial on blocks I'm gonna turn this sketch into a block and then duplicate it and this is because I was having previous issues using the curve driven pattern feature um, so uh, I'm making the sketch do all the work so as you can see there I made a triangular sketch turned it into a block um, and then when you convert sketch into a block you're able to duplicate the block um, multiple times the sketch so I'm just setting up some construction geometry here um, that's going to enable me to define the block and in a minute you'll see I'm control C and V so I'm copy and paste in the block um, to where I want them to be and then I'm going to define them up in a minute with some dimensions here we go um, and like I said it's worth noting there are you know uh, several ways you can do things in SOLIDWORKS um, this is just my uh, you know I'm sharing my workflow this is how I went about this particular model um, this is my kind of style, this is how I like to do it. So we've got the sketch set up here, I'm setting up a temporary axis uh, and I'm going to revolve it about the temporary axis which is in the middle and we've done a revolve cut. So slowly but surely the form of the product is starting to take shape. So we're coming on the front plane now and uh, this is a sketch, this is setting up uh, for a sweep so this is um, I'm drawing the path at the moment uh, and then we'll do the profile in a sec just having a few issues there trying to snap Snap onto the uh, intersection. Bit of a graphical error there, you can see it's off. But we got it. Just going to add some uh, uh, co linear there to the line to make it um, give it some tangency. And just getting the control handle there, making it co linear to give it some tangency. So coming up on the top face there going to draw the um, profile which again is another triangle I'm just fully defining that now So come into the sweep feature, select, use the selection manager to select the path. Um, and then I think, yeah, I untick the merge option there. So isolating the sweep. I use the delete face tool there to um, just adjust the tangency um, of the sweep because there was um, a bit of a transition. So that's why I did that. Patterning the feature, circular patterning the body there. 
and using the combined subtract tool and it leaves you with some really nice uh, form of the grenade there. So now we're going to have a look at the detailing on the head. Um, just coming in drawing a sketch. Trying to get it to snap tangent there. Couldn't, couldn't get it. it, wasn't playing ball. So I'll manually put the tangent in and add a coincident relation. Put an angle in there. Using the extrude, gonna use the contours here to make sure I'm selecting the little triangles there to get it all. Just modeling half of the top here because uh, we can mirror it when we're, when we're ready. Mirroring the body over there and take the merge solids option. Using the uh, slot sketch tool there, this is a really nice tool. Uh, if, you, if you're not familiar with it, go and find it, have a play. Uh, very useful, um, save you some time in certain applications. So now I'm putting a sketch in for a sweep. There's like a little um, sort of semicircular uh, feature underneath that lip. So I'm just going to draw the sketch and then use the model geometry to sweep it around and adjust the profile orientation there to keep a normal constant. That will give you the flat start and finish as you see uh, in the model. Coming up the top there, adding a fillet in. And now we're going to use uh, offset surface 0.1mm. Uh, and this is to create a, sort of like a, a tolerance uh, detail that is the uh, handle that goes on the top of the grenade. So going to draw a sketch now that um, will allow me to trim the surface back because we don't need all of this geometry um, that we got from the offset. So just drawing a couple of arcs um, and just a tip I like to you know roughly sketch the geometry that you're after and then sort of methodically go about um, detailing that with dimensions and sort of adjust it uh, roughly to how you think it should be and then you know adjust um, or to uh, dimension up with your dimensions to fully define it so just going through fully defining it here it's quite a few dimensions a bit tedious come up to use the trim surface you can use the remove or keep um, option there And uh, I'm just going to add, uh, yeah, so this is going to be for a surface extrude and I'm going to eventually merge this to one surface and then the objective is to convert this to a solid, we use the thicken tool. So we're just going about way here, so I'm, you, um, I've copied that surface, I've untrimmed it and extended it and I'm going to use it to trim back that surface deleting the surface that we no longer need that was used for the trim come back into trim and select um, the common vertice to trim it off now we can knit them and now we're ready to thicken I think it's a 0.5 thickness we apply you can use bi-directional uh, or like one directional with the thicken, it's a good tool. Um, just uh, tidying up, you, you do tend to get some 
rough edges at times with the thicken, so just tidying them up. Gonna add a couple fillets in here. Two mil at the bottom. I think it's one mil in the corner there. Yeah. And there's a, I'm gonna use the delete face on a, on a dodgy uh, transition there. And I think I'm gonna add uh, a couple more fillets maybe. No, there's a section at the front that goes round that lip. So just gonna use an extrude thin feature for that. 0.5 thickness up to vertex and merge. And a couple of fillets in here, 0.25 on that edge and a 0.5 on the top edge. So looking good. I think we're ready to mirror the body now. We can mirror that body and merge solids. So there we go. So starting to take shape. Just creating a reference geometry plane there. This is for the um, pin and the sort of pin loop. Just fully define it up. I'm gonna use the sweep feature, but not gonna create a profile. You can use the circular profile option in the sweep, define the diameter, and uh, SolidWorks will do the rest. Alternatively, you, you could have done that with a revolve, but uh, I chose the sweep. Just using the move copy body tool now, um, just to adjust the loop to make it look a bit more sort of organic moving it off the plane that it was created on. This uh, this sketch is for the cut for the pin that goes through the body, just fully defining it. Then we're going to extrude cut up to surface and then I think the other direction will be blind. Oh no, up to surface in both directions. The pin um, that goes through that, we, that I draw now is up to surface one direction and blind in the other. So just taking the existing sketch geometry, offsetting it, gonna go up to surface on this side and then blind the other side. 8.3, yep, not merging that. I don't think it would have merged anyway because it's not in contact. But. Uh, drawing a reference sketch there to create a reference plane. Use the intersection sketch to get the intersection of the plane and the sweep. Using the sweep tool now, like we did before, circular profile, 1.2 dia. And just going to offset the surface of the existing sweep 0.1. Going to use that um, with the cut surface tool. Cut the surface, select the surface, select the body, and uh, now going to delete that surface out. There we go. I think we've just got to merge, uh, put a chamfer on the pin. Um, merge it, combine it, and we're good.